Welcome to the web tutorial, Applying for Sensitive Data. In this tutorial, you will learn how to apply for sensitive NHATS data. NHATS has deemed some of its files to be sensitive, meaning that there is a slightly higher risk of identifying someone in the sample under certain conditions. Sensitive data files include NHATS sensitive demographic files, which include, for example, single year of age, and the NHATS dried blood spot file. In addition, all interviews from family members or friends that link to NHATS, such as the NHATS COVID-19 family members and friends file and the National Study of Caregiving files, are considered sensitive. Importantly, sensitive data access requires an application documenting that the requester has a terminal degree, including a PhD or MD, and holds a research position as faculty or researcher at a university, research institution, or U.S. government agency. Students and postdoctoral fellows must request a faculty member to sponsor their application by acting as the requesting investigator. All users listed on the application must agree to observe restrictions in cell sizes and publications and presentations that include this sensitive data. To access the application, navigate to the researcher's website and click on the Data Access button. On the Data Access page, users should scroll down to the NTOC and Other Sensitive Files button. This page provides researchers with an overview of sensitive data files. To apply, researchers should click Application Process for NSOC and Other Sensitive Files. Let's review the steps. The following forms must be submitted to access NHATS sensitive data. See Section 4, Forms. This includes the NHATS sensitive data investigator form, the sensitive data use agreement, and if a research staff member or student will access the data, the NHATS Sensitive Data Supplemental Agreement with research staff. Let's review each of these forms. The investigator form requires the investigator's information and, if applicable, a research staff member or student's information and details about their institution. The Sensitive Data Use Agreement asks the investigator to check the sensitive data files that they wish to access. The investigator must sign this form. Finally, if applicable, the investigator should fill out the form for staff or any research staff member or student who will be accessing the data. This form should be signed by each staff member or student and the investigator. All forms should then be electronically submitted to nhatsdata at westat.com using the subject line heading Sensitive Data Application. Once the files are approved, you will see the files when you log in to access the data. This tutorial was produced by Men Yahoo, Sarah Patterson, and Vicki Friedman with funding from the National Institute on Aging. This ends the Applying for Sensitive Data web tutorial. Comments and questions may be submitted to nhatsdata at westat.com.